This is Chicago's number one news, ABC 7 News at 10. Images this country will never forget. Two planes overpowered by hijackers plow into New York's World Trade Center. Another plane slams into the Pentagon. Witnesses watch in horror as terrorist attacks kill thousands of Americans. We saw a shadow, it looked like a plane, next thing we know it was boom, and the floor started shaking. Now a night of grieving. Terrorist attacks can shake the foundations of our biggest buildings, but they cannot touch the foundation of America. Good evening. The federal government has identified terrorist Osama bin Laden as the prime suspect. Well, the terrorists started this morning. The first target, the World Trade Center in New York City. Then the terrorists struck the Pentagon, the command center for the nation's military. A fourth plane had sights on Washington, D.C. and crashed outside Pittsburgh. Well, John Berman has the latest from New York. John? From where the World Trade Center once stood. At the Pentagon in Washington, we have just learned as many as 800 people could could be dead. It is just some of the carnage in what has become one of America's worst days. September 11th will be known as the day that the face of America changed forever. But with the Pentagon still burning, President Bush told the world that the spirit of America will not be shaken. These acts shatter steel, but they cannot dent the steel of American resolve. The president, who had a whirlwind day that took him to secured sites in Louisiana and Nebraska, made clear that the U.S. is committed to finding anyone involved in any way to these attacks. I've directed the full resources of our intelligence and law enforcement communities to find those responsible and to bring them to justice. We will make no distinction between the terrorists who committed these acts and those who harbor them. The nightmare began just before 9 a.m. American Flight 11, a Boeing 767 from Boston to Los Angeles, crashed into one of the twin towers of the World Trade Center. Then, 10 minutes later, the second plane, a United flight also from Boston to Los Angeles, crashed into the second tower. The twin towers, a symbol of American economic power, stood wounded in the morning sky. Then, they stood no more. A huge explosion now raining debris on all of us. We better get out of the way. Just after 10 o'clock, as thousands of terrified people watched from the streets, the South Tower collapsed. 20 minutes later, the second tower came down. Oh my God, there it goes! All of a sudden I heard rumbling and we all started running away from it. The glass like blew out and threw me onto the sidewalk and I, I couldn't see for like 20 seconds. As New York was struck by tragedy, so too was the nation's capital. Another plane crashed into the Pentagon. Later, part of the building collapsed. And in western Pennsylvania, a fourth plane, a United Airlines flight from Newark to San Francisco, went down in a field. The flights were all hijacked. Officials say they were taken by people wielding knives. Several passengers on these flights were able to place cell phone calls to authorities and loved ones describing the situation before they went down. The casualties from the disaster are not yet known, but they are believed to be in the thousands. Many firefighters and police who rushed to the World Trade Center after the first crash are missing. Rescue officials have begun to receive calls from people still alive, trapped in the rubble. New York's mayor, Rudy Giuliani, has closed Lower Manhattan tomorrow to give the rescue effort the space it needs. The rest of the city will be open, but the mayor has asked people to stay home if they can. It will be some time before this city, which is called the capital of the world, returns to normal or anything close. This is John Berman, live in New York. Now back to you. Well, John, there are enough people working in those towers, like 50,000 to make a suburb in one city. Now, people here in Chicago have been just stunned all day. What's it like in New York tonight? Uh, in New York tonight, around here, it is very, very, very quiet. People were streaming north for hours after the accident, or after the crash first happened. Uh, but right now, these streets around here are quiet. People uh, who are on the streets are looking up at the smoke in utter disbelief. As you said, as many as 50,000 people can be in those buildings at any one time, and we have no idea yet what the casualties might be. John, what about the rescue work tonight? We understand there are survivors in buildings near the uh, World Trade Center. That's right. We heard from the police that they have received some cell phone calls from some people who may be alive buried in the rubble. The rescue effort is just getting underway. They haven't been able to get in there because it's been burning so hot. The smoke has been so thick. They haven't been able to get in there to help people, but they will be starting very soon. 